Ariana Dumbledore has been described as having magical abilities that she cannot control, and we know that the magic exploded out of her. Could this mysterious illness that plagued her be explained by an obscurus? An obscurial is a young witch or wizard who developed a dark parasitical magical force, known as an obscurus, as a result of their magic being suppressed through psychological or physical trauma. When a magical child is forced to repress their talent through physical or psychological abuse, they develop a parasitical magical force inside of them called an obscurus, resulting from their strong emotions of distress. An obscurial may lose control when they reach their emotional and mental breaking point. In the case of Ariana Dumbledore, it appears something that those muggle boys did to her may have caused her to undergo a lot of trauma and stress, and as a result try to suppress her magic as a precaution. As stated in Deathly Hallows, it destroyed her what they did. She was never right again. She wouldn't use magic, but she couldn't get rid of it. It turned inwards and drove her mad. It exploded out of her when she couldn't control it, and at times she was strange and dangerous. Sounds like an obscurus to us. But mostly she was sweet and scared and harmless. This description of Ariana Dumbledore does appear to match up with Credence in Fantastic Beasts. We see a similar reaction to trauma in Fantastic Beasts where Credence undergoes a lot of conflicting emotions such as fear, especially when the Obscurus would wreak havoc. So, the event with Ariana sounds quite similar to the case with Credence. Credence's adoptive mother, Mary Lou Barebone, abused Credence and caused him to try and hide his magic from her much like Ariana did after the event with the Muggle Boys. Another thing is suggested that Ariana's illness could be detrimental to wizarding kind, as it might reveal the existence of wizards to the muggle world, which is probably why they didn't want to send her to St Mungo's. The evidence seems to line up quite nicely to Ariana being the obscurial. The reason why Albus Dumbledore seems to have a soft spot for Newt Scamander, again having seen an obscurial first hand, he must have realised and been burdened by his sister's pain. There doesn't seem to have been a way to separate the Obscurial from Ariana in their time, otherwise Dumbledore would have tried the exact same thing. However, Newt separated it out from a Sudanese girl and would have been sharing his expertise with Dumbledore at Hogwarts. Dumbledore would definitely have wanted to let Newt finish his research and find a mean to separate out an obscurial. This would have helped so many children and in turn eased Dumbledore's suffering of having failed Ariana. Also it would justify the temporary lapse of Dumbledore into the dark arts. He was bitter with the fate of his sister. Though the description of an obscurial seems to have been created much after the seventh book came out, it seems to have been modelled on the description and condition of Ariana. Also, it could have been one of the reasons that Ariana was never taken to St Mungo's in the first place. While the term obscurial is not used to describe Ariana in Harry Potter, her condition sounds similar to that of Credence Barebones in Fantastic Beasts, who is revealed to be an obscurial near the end of the film. It's known that Dumbledore was haunted his entire life by what happened to his sister, so it makes sense that he would throw his support behind someone working to help understand these malevolent magical forces. So let us know in the comments, do you think that Ariana Dumbledore was an obscurial? <laughs>